It's Dave at thinkoutsidetheslide.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can take quotes and make them more visual. So this is an example. These are some quotes on a video that I did on how to use your iPad as a second screen for either presenter view or really anything that you want to do. And these are bullet points. And this is typical what I see is, is, is we have bullet points instead of making it more visual. So how do we make it more visual? I'm going to go to uh, my slide here and show you how we can do that. And we're going to use some shapes that look like quotes that are actually in the callouts section of the shapes in PowerPoint. And I have my uh, shapes here, so I'm going to go to the insert ribbon uh, and I'm going to drop down the shapes. And let me zoom in here so you can see this better. Uh, this is the callouts section. So you see we have different callouts here. And pick the one that you want. I usually will use this one here, which says it's a speech bubble, so it is for speech, rectangle with corners rounded. Now, what I like about that one is it's a little bit softer than the one that's got the rectangle with the hard square corners. So I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to draw it as big as I think I need it to be. So uh, let's say it's about this big. Now, thinking about how big you should make it. How many quotes do you have to put on the slide? So in this case, I only have four, so I can make it a little larger. If I had six, I could maybe make it as large. It comes in at this default. Now, one of the things to notice here, again, I'll zoom in, um, the yellow circle. The yellow circle is a sizing handle, and so it allows me to grab it and drag it. And I usually drag it down so it's down and to the left there because what that does is it makes it look kind of more like a, uh, a speech quote bubble, which is, again, the, the name of the shape. So what I'm going to do is, is I have now created my shape. I'm going to go back to my first slide. I'm going to copy all the text, hit Control C, go back to my new slide, select my shape, and press Control V. And what that does is it pastes in the text into this shape. Now I can just simply select the shape and I can go back to the home ribbon. And up at the top here, uh, I can take a look at it and say, well, how big do I need it to be on? Let's say 24 point. I want it to make uh, the text a little bigger. And white is fine for the, um, the color there. So that's okay. Now I might say, oh, gee, you know what? That, that's a little tight. The text is a little tight. So maybe I'll make the shape a little bigger and it spaces it out uh, a little nicer. Now I've got my first shape. Instead of drawing another shape and hoping that it gets exactly the same, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shortcut keys of pressing Control and Shift. So Control is copy, Shift is move in a horizontal or vertical direction. So I'm going to Control, Shift, hold those key down, and then you'll notice that the cursor changes to one which has a little plus sign. Then I'm going to drag it to the right. Now I have a quote shape that's exactly the same size and it's perfectly horizontally aligned. Saved me a lot of time there. Now I can go and get my second quote here. Copy that. Go here. Highlight the text here. And if the font is going to be different, then what you can do is instead of just hitting Control V copy, you can go up to the paste here at the top and drop that down and say I want to paste Keep text only. What that does is it pastes it in as if you had typed it in. Now I can decide, oh gee, you know what, the fill color here, maybe I'll make them different fill colors. So I'll select my shape and I'll go to my uh, shape fill here at the top and I'll decide maybe I want to do the second color or let's say the third color. That looks a little better. It's a little darker. So I'll choose that. And now I have my two quotes. To duplicate two of them, what I can do is, is I can select both. So one of the quick ways to select both is just take your cursor, draw a rectangle around, fully around both of those shapes. And now we use the same control shift that I did before. So hold control and shift down and drag these down. Now I've duplicated both of them. Again, saving time. Simply copy the text out of my bullet point, paste it into my shape, just like I did before, keeping only the text. And the same thing for my last one. So you can save yourself a lot of time with 
duplicating and pasting it the way you want right away. And then again, I can change the, the shape fill here. Maybe this one I'm going to make uh, purple. Maybe I want it darker. And this one here, maybe I'll make that one uh, the darker orange. So now what I've done is I've made the quotes more visual. And what I like to do as well is, is whenever you're presenting quotes is you want to actually give them context or make additional comments. So don't just put them all on the slide at once. What you can do is select each one of them and animate them. So I'll go up to my animation ribbon and on the animation ribbon, I'll zoom in here for you. So on the animation ribbon here, again, that's where I am. I'm just going to select appear because that's all I need it to do. And then I'll do the same thing for each of these in the order that I want them to show up. So I'm doing them just left to right and then the second row left to right, but you can choose maybe one of the quotes is going to be more important that you wanna show first and then put some other ones around it. Now, when I'm done, I'll just go into reading mode here, reading view and show you what this looks like. So I say, hey, we've got some quotes. I click the first one, comes on. I can talk about it, why it's important, what this person said. Then I click the second one, talk about that, click the third one, talk about that, click the fourth one, talk about that. So what we've done is, is we've taken our quotes that were in bullet points and really not very interesting and made them more visual by simply using these call out shapes. Use that technique to make quotations in your presentation more visual. This video is an example of the practical advice that I share in my live in-person or virtual workshops that help teams create more effective presentations in less time. If that's of interest to you, get in touch. If you found the information in this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching.